Hello everybody, praise the Lord. Thank you again for watching my video blog. My name is Bryant Mora. Let's go ahead and uh, start off with a word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for your blessing and for your favor that is upon us as your people. Hallelujah. I pray for a spirit of revelation and understanding to come upon us, Lord God, here tonight as we open up your word, study it, now speak to us, God. Hallelujah. Increase our ability in the name of Jesus for more of you. We're hungry tonight. We're thirsty tonight. Now come and fill us. Make your presence known now by the authority of the word of God and the power of the name of Jesus Christ. Anoint my lips. And thank you, Lord God, for letting me be a blessing. I want to talk to you. I've got some notes in front of me, so for, forgive me if I don't <clears throat> always look forward into the camera and into your eyes, but i got some notes. I want to share what God had given to me. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's probably about three to about three and a half weeks ago, the Lord gave to me a vision. It was at nighttime. I was getting ready for bed, and as I laid in bed, I closed my eyes, and the Lord showed me a staircase. <clears throat> Immediately, I felt an impression that God was inviting me to a higher place in Him, a higher place of operation. Felt like He said, if you choose to go, you're going to have to leave things behind. Not many have chose to climb higher, but the invitation is out. I bid thee to come. I bid thee to to come. Hallelujah. Look, now I understand the word says many are called, but few are chosen. Hallelujah. And narrow and straight is the gate, and few there be that find it. Many are called, few are chosen. I believe that God calls multitudes. Hallelujah. But very few choose to follow the path. Hallelujah. That God wants for them and I believe that there is a path that you can choose hallelujah of consecration of dedication hallelujah of setting yourself apart to be mightily used by God in the name of Jesus and if you're hungry for it praise God God will give it to you so after this vision I've been reading the, uh, many books aside from the Bible I like to read spiritual spiritual books. I believe uh, you become what you allow to, to come in. So if you put in garbage, then that's what you're going to get. You're going to get garbage. But if you continue to, to, to keep reading good things and viewing good things and listening to good things, then that's going to come out. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I was reading this book by Verbal Being, and it's on prayer. And there was a scripture in there, very good book, by the way, Intercessors, grab it, pick it up. It'll get a hold of you and stir, stir you up and ignite that gift of intercession inside of you. So there was a scripture that backed up the vision that God gave to me. It was found in Song of Solomon, chapter 2 and verse 14. You could turn there. He says... <clears throat> Oh, my dove, oh, my dove, that art in the clefts of the rock, in the secret places of the stairs, let me see thy countenance. Let me hear thy voice. For sweet is thy voice, and thy countenance is comely. Hallelujah. Oh, to see him. Jesus, to see him, hallelujah, to look upon his face. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. In Proverbs 16 and 15, it says, In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud bringing the spring rain. Praise God. That's found in the Amplified Version. Now, now, God gave me some more scriptures, and I want you to take a look at that as we examine it 
If you notice, before the staircase, there was the clefts of the rock. And immediately I thought of Moses and how Moses was wanting more of God. Moses was leading God's people, and there was a promise to Moses in the cliff of the rock. In Exodus 33 and 11, we can see this, that, that this is the kind of relationship Moses had with the Lord. It says, And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, praise God, as a man speaketh unto his friend. Amen. Exodus 30, uh, 33 and 13 says this, Now therefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. And God says to him, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Look, Moses Hallelujah. Moses asked God for proof. Amen. For proof that God was with him. Hallelujah. If Moses, a leader of God's people, was so bold to say, God, prove to me. Hallelujah. Show me that I'm in your way. Let me know. Hallelujah that you are with me and you are with this people, this nation, this congregation that I lead. Hallelujah. You, you see, Moses gets his prayers answered. He gets his prayers answered, but he did not stop there. Verse number 18, he says, I beseech thee, show thee, I'm sorry, show me thy glory. God says, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. Oh, hallelujah. Stand upon a rock. Praise God. Sounds like a chief cornerstone to me. Amen. Sounds like something that's pointing to the New Testament, saying you're built upon the doctrine of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ. Being the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 22. And it shall come to pass while my glory passeth by. That I will put thee in a cliff of the rock. And I will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away mine hand. And thou shalt see my back parts. But my face shall not be seen. Praise God. I want to let you know, praise the Lord, that it's going to take work on your behalf, praise God. If you want to know more about God, it's God is so deep, hallelujah. Even, even the best, best of all soul winners, even, even the best of all preachers, hallelujah. Even the best of all revivalists, hallelujah, in their relationship. In their knowledge of God, we have not even yet, with all of them combined, scratched the surface of who God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I want you to know that revelation in God is progressive. But God wants you to desire it. God wants you to put forth that effort. Come on, Moses. Come on, man of God. Come on, hallelujah, woman of God. Put forth the effort and let's climb higher. Let's climb that mountain. Praise God. Let's, let's find that cleft in the rock so we could see the glory of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to take you to another passage of Scripture. There was a promise to Jacob. And Jacob, in, verse, in chapter uh, 
28 of Genesis, verse uh, number 12. And he dreamed, and behold, the ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. Praise God. Amen. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Praise the Lord. So this is just another picture. Praise God. Hallelujah. That you can climb higher to get revelation from God. Amen. Praise God. Don't just let the angels ascend and descend. Let's climb higher in prayer. Come on. There's, there's realms and dimensions. Hallelujah. That we can tap into. Praise God. Amen. These Old Testament prophets did not have the baptism of the Holy Ghost that, bo that, that, that we are able to have today. Living in the dispensation, hallelujah, uh, of, of, of grace. The dispensation of where the, the Holy Ghost has been poured out, praise God. So we have something that the prophets look forward to. Something that they looked into, praise God. And we, hallelujah, can have it. There was a promise to Abraham in Genesis 15 and 1. He says, After these things the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abram, I am thy shield and thy exceeding great Reward. Aria sete, liorondoria, shakarianda boria sita, rosocoporia se, liefete peye si caria sopo, rosocoriandai, yesta, yesta, ilaboria seya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Praise God. It's so great to know Him. It's so great to know Him, to know who Jesus Christ is. Praise God. Now imagine that. We can climb higher in God. Praise God. Look at that. You climb high in God, and you in, in, in that mountain you find that cleft in the rock, and you see God's glory. But past the, the mountain is that staircase experience in God. Hallelujah. And he said, in that staircase, upon that staircase, praise the Lord. He says, let me see thy countenance. Let me hear thy voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So on that staircase, my brothers and my sisters, you're going to see the face of God. Climb higher. You're going to hear the voice of God. Climb higher. Amen. Praise the Lord. I got, I'm going to have a part two of this session. But let's end it with, this, uh, with, with a time of prayer again. Thank you for your time. Thank you for hearing me. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for everyone that has participated in watching this video. And right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus... I pray blessing, Lord God, hallelujah, into their prayer lives. I pray blessing, Lord, in the name of Jesus, right now, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth over them. Wash them, cleanse them, forgive them of every trespass, every transgression and sin, God. Lord Jesus, we want to move higher in you, God, and so we repent, Father, for our sins. And everything that is in us, God, that is not like you, burn it out. Burn it out by the power and the fire of the Holy Ghost. For you are a fire, God. You're an all-consuming fire. 
And now, Lord, take us, take us, take us as we, as we come to thee, God, as we climb higher, the, higher in the mountain, as you give us that, 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 that glory experience, God. But even moving up, God, we progress. Hallelujah. And we climb higher. And we meet you at the staircase. Yes, God, we will respond to the invitation. I want to see your face, God. We want to see your face, God. You said, blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. You said, Lord, in your word, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You are not a liar. You are not a liar. Jesus. Hallelujah. And right now, I pray a prophetic word over you. Hallelujah. Right now, if you would keep your eyes closed. Right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak it. I pray, Lord God, right now, every individual that is tuned in right now, God, as they close their eyes, give them a vision right now and let them see a throne. Hallelujah. This throne is majestic. This throne is wonderful. Hallelujah. And there's, there's, a, there's a staircase that leads up to this throne. It's like a red carpet that, that, is, that, is, that is going from you to where the throne is. And you are in the throne room of the king. Hallelujah. There is one that is sitting upon the throne. Hallelujah. Right now, you see him. Look upon him. It is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he is looking at you right now. Hashatana nakataya. Let him love you. He is raising his hand, and in his hand he has a scepter. And he's going to point, he is pointing that scepter to you. And that means favor. Hatabo yosoko rasheke liondo rapapa ye feki ilabo soto. I release the favor and the blessing of Almighty God. Upon your life right now, may your home be blessed. May your family be blessed. May your situation at work be blessed. May your situation at school be blessed. Right now, I command it. Favor of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive it on the authority of God's word. And let's give him high praise because he alone is worthy. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Thank you again for your time. In Jesus' name.